next morning, Thomas was still fuming. Shunted, and on my own branch too. It's a disgrace. I'm sorry, said Stepney. I was a special. Why? An important passenger arrived just as you left. He ordered a special train and Duck let me take it. We had a splendid run, but... But, finished Thomas kindly, it can make an engine nervous not to know the line. Exactly, said Stepney. You're such an expert. This made Thomas feel much better. He couldn't be cross anymore and instead began telling Stepney all about his branch line. The fat controller was having breakfast. He was eating toast and marmalade. The butler came in. Excuse me, sir. You are wanted on the telephone. Bother that telephone, said the fat controller. <laughs> I'm sorry, my dear, he said to his wife. Thomas is in trouble with the police and I must go at once. At the station, Thomas's driver told the fat controller what had happened. Dangerous to the public, indeed. We'll see about that. The fat controller spoke to the policeman. But however much he argued with him, it was no good. The law is the law, he said, and we can't change it. The fat controller felt exhausted. I'm sorry, driver, he said. It's no use arguing with policemen. We will have to make those cowcatcher things for Thomas, I suppose. Everyone will laugh, sir, said Thomas. They'll say I look like a tram. The fat controller stirred. Then he laughed. Well done, Thomas. Why didn't I think of it before? We want a tram engine. When I was on my holiday, I met a nice little engine called Toby. He takes trucks from the farms, but the lorries are taking over most of his work and he needs a change. He has cow catchers and side plates. I'll write to his controller at once. A few days later, Toby arrived. That's a good engine, said the fat controller. I see you've brought your coach, Henrietta. You don't mind, do you, sir? asked Toby. The station master wanted to use her as a hen house, and that would never do. No, indeed, said the fat controller. We couldn't allow that. <laughs> Toby made the silly trucks behave even better than Thomas did. First, Thomas was jealous, but he was so pleased when Toby rang his bell and frightened the policeman, they've been firm friends ever since. Stepney the Bluebell engine was busy talking to the other engines. It was his first visit to their railway and he was having a splendid time. You are very lucky engines, he said. Your line has got everything. It's long enough to give you a good run and you have plenty of passengers. Then you have a quarry and a mine so you need plenty of trucks. Trucks are fun. I miss them on our line. Percy was surprised. All the engines thought trucks were trouble. You're welcome to take some of mine, he said, but you'd better ask driver first. The drivers agreed and the two engines set off. Thomas and Toby were speechless. 